2012, there was a typhoon that hit in central Mindanao. I was scared. I saw everywhere the damage. Knowing and hearing the life stories of our elders and their experience about the past season and the disaster they encountered in their past days are very important. Also, learning in school context through science, we understand the element of life and the cycle of water, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. So by learning science, we understand how the life stories from our elders are connected to climate change. The use of fossil fuel is one of the leading causes of climate change. We live in a society where people consume and extract more than what is enough. The global production chain is choking us on the planet. Millions of tons of plastic from factories are transported to the world market and this throwaway culture has made it worse. Pulangian culture is connected to the law of our environment. Their practices like traditional farming are environment friendly. They give respect to their land, water, plants, and even rocks. Because of this, indigenous peoples help greatly in climate change mitigation. The voice of marginalized community are not heard. As an indigenous youth, I know it's a big challenge for me to use my voice for everyone. Indigenous people are at the forefront of taking care of our environment while the youth or the newer generation are most affected by the impact of climate change. We need to live in a simple way of life and be contented to maintain balance in how we live. Life cannot be measured by how much money you have. It's about experiencing hope, faith, and love, and to share compassion for others. To our fellow youth all over the world, we need to unite our voice so we will be heard. We also need to unite our actions not just our words, so other people will believe us. We are the hope of the world. We have to trust each other that we can make it.